Hello and welcome to Pontus Present. Uh, this video is going to be a bit different. Uh, it's going to be a lot more educational uh, than usual because I'm going to compare and tell how to spot the difference between uh, sewn bindings and glued bindings. And I'm also going to cover some pros and cons. But I'm also going to talk a bit about hybrid bindings, uh, fake uh, Smithsewn bindings and concertina bindings like this one. Okay, so let's talk about the classic uh, perfect binding uh, first. And I guess that the name perfect binding comes from the fact that all of the pages uh, or leaves are glued individually throughout the book. Uh, so every single page here are glued into the spine and this is the most usual binding you will see from cheaper hard covers. Uh, the binding is just the, exactly the same as pocket books like this one. So how can you tell if you have a glued binding or a, a Smithsewn binding? Well it's quite simple. You can just look at the bottom here. You can often see very easily that the pages are indeed glued into the, the spine. But if you open up the book and fail to find uh, a thread on the gutter, uh, then that's also a sign that the book is glued instead of sewn. So what you want to look for when you want to tell the difference between a glued and a sewn binding is these, uh, these bundles of pages which are called signatures. If a book has signatures then it's uh, quite a big chance that's, that it is actually uh, sewn instead of glued. But that's not always the case and I'm, I'm going to cover that as well. And uh, next up we have the Smithsewn binding. And as you can see here you can tell that the book has uh, signatures and you can expect that each signature has a thread that goes throughout the whole bundle. But also the thread should go and connect all of the bundles or signatures in order to make it even more durable. And we can find a good example of that right here. You can see the thread going throughout the signature, but you can also see it uh, being connected to all of the other uh, signatures as well. So after having spotted the signatures, you should be able to see uh, the threads as well in the gutter of the book. And that is how you tell if a book is uh, sewn instead of glued. But then we also have something called hybrid bindings and I'm not certain that this book is a hybrid binding. So let's say that every signature here is sewn uh, throughout but uh, if the signatures are not connected throughout the book then it's a hybrid binding uh, because every signature is sewn but every signature or bundle is not connected with each other. Uh, instead they have used a glue to keep the signatures in place. And then we have the fake Smith's U binding. You can see here uh, at least somewhat uh, of the uh, signatures. They look pretty messed up, but, uh, but this book is not glued with a perfect binding. It actually has glued between every page in the signature instead of a thread going through it, which durability wise is not that great, but still probably better than a perfect binding. And how can you tell if a book has a, a fake Smithsewn binding? Well, if you open the signature in the middle and fail to find a thread, then it's indeed a fake uh, Smithsewn binding, like this book. And lastly, we have the Concertina binding, which I uh, don't really know much about, but it's a Sewn binding. At least. And it's quite easy to spot a concertina binding since between every uh, signature there is this uh, thicker paper which is sticking up uh, between the signatures in order to make the book lay more flat. So what is the real difference between a sewn and a glued binding quality wise? Well the main concern with all glued bindings is the durability because the leaves do tend to fall off if you handle the book without care and if you really open the book up too much the pages can fall off since the glue uh, might crack but with the sewn binding you get a very durable uh, book instead the pages will most likely not fall out uh, unless you do something very aggressive <laughs> but sewn bindings are generally uh, made to survive several read-throughs, which is what I prefer myself and a lot of other uh, book collectors out there. But I hope this information was good and that you maybe learned something about the book bindings. I know that this was uh, 
mainly towards uh, new book collectors and people who are not really into uh, buying buying books or thinking about the quality of the bindings. But if you have any questions or if I said something wrong, then please uh, tell me about it in the comment section. And please check out my Patreon page if you want to. The link is in the description or it's showing right here. And lastly, I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.